welcome back to NASCAR 6 Team Control. Okay, the race started even though I didn't push the X button at all. Alright. That was weird. I guess one of the ways. So here, Richmond National Raceway, race 2636 for the running of the Chevy Rock and Roll 400. And okay, I almost. I just. Matt Kenseth tried to take me out. You saw what happened, right? Alright. Oh, and then he comes back down into me. Okay. So, anyway, race 2636 here at Richmond National Raceway for the running of the Chevy Rock and Roll 400. And, uh, this is the last race before the chase. I qualified 17th, but now back to 19th because Matt Kenseth, as you just saw at the beginning of the race, was on the apron for whatever reason and took me out. Although I'm rivals with Matt Kenseth, so I guess he just decided to go on the apron just to try to take me out, which almost worked for him. So yep, here we are underway here, Richmond. Uh, I I didn't even click the X button. Like I like as soon as I started recording, I was trying to do my intro, and all of a sudden the race started. Like I don't know why. That was kind of weird. Oops, I didn't mean to get in the back. Ah! I didn't mean to get in the back of Jimmy Johnson, and now I just became rivals with him. You know what, I'm quite surprised I qualified here and I, I qualified in 17th because last time I came here, I started on the pole and also got the win here. So, uh, I don't know how why I qualified back in 17th. It's okay, I can get up there. If I don't get tight. Oh, or loose. So yeah, this is the last race before the chase, and, oh my god, I, and obviously I'm, I'm gonna make the chase, obviously, I'm, I'm way up there. Well, I'm moving up spots, I'm trying to go for, oh! Okay, I forgot that Elliot Sadler was my rival after California. I'm so sideways because I'm trying to keep control of my car after he hit me. Yeah, the race at California I could have won, but uh, I kept I kept it getting involved in Rex. Like I got involved with Rex with Elliot Sadler and Matt Kenseth. It's just that, like I like I said at Fontana the previous race, you cannot touch a car here at Cal here at in this, you cannot touch a car in this game, you know? Once you touch a car in this game, it's like a magnet. You're gonna wreck. You know, you're gonna wreck the car. There's, I mean, even the wreck I had with me and Elliot Sadler, as soon as we got to Magnus, I even let it off, and yet I couldn't get off of him. I even got off the gas. Whoa, Kyle Bush. So I'll try and go for my ninth win of the season tonight. We will see. Get that thing off my screen. So yeah, I've been having a pretty good season. Up and down season though. Alright, Biffle. Okay, Elliot Sadler, that was uh, unnecessary. Elias Allen goes from the top of the racetrack to the bottom to hit me. Ugh. People these days, you know? I'm really good at the short tracks like, like Bristol, Martinsville, and uh, Richmond. I've been really good on the short tracks all season long. I, I've won actually, actually except for one the first Bristol race, but I've won like every short track race this season. I've been pretty good at the short tracks. They're pretty good at the flat tracks on this game, too. I just cracked the top five. The Travis Quapel in front of me. Oops. Just, what the... What the heck? 
Okay, so the first time I accidentally hit the rival button, and then I turned it off, and then it turned back on a couple of times for what... Jesus, what's wrong with this controller? I wonder if there's sticky uh, buttons on this controller. Like, it's gotten sticky. Maybe, I don't know. Right, right now, I'm about to get around Travis Quapel. People keep saying I mispronounce his, na his last name. Hey, Isaac. Uh, yeah, people keep thinking I mispronounce uh, Travis Quapel's last name. I've been saying it right. I hear it on TV, and I'm right. And yet they keep saying that it's Quapel or or Quapel. It's I know it's not waffle. No, I know it's not like waffle and stuff. Jeez, people. But that's how you pronounce his name is Quapple. Quapple. Jeez. That's how you pronounce his name. I'm not wrong. Listen to it on TV, too. Hey, by the way, I just took the race lead. Pit stops are coming soon as well. Bush came up or I came down, but that was a close call. The car is tight right now. I mean, Kurt, oh, Kurt Bush about to pass me for the race lead. I'm gonna try to stretch the lap 24 before I pit. Wow, the car just went up the racetrack. I don't know. Whoa, okay, okay. I'm sideways. Oh my god, what is wrong with this car? I don't got worn tires. I'm good now. Just have to hang on to the thing. Yep, just got to long field, but I'm gonna wait till I get to lap 24 so I know I'm good on fuel. Uh, speaking of worn tires, now I am. Going for the race lead. Once again. Oh my god, car. Some cars are coming on pit road now. Now my uh, right side tires are completely worn. Oh, and then there goes the left front. Some tires, some of the leaders are hanging down pit road right now. Alright, I'm gonna pit this time by. Pitting this time by. Now that I know I can make it. Oh, stop getting sideways. Alright. Let's do this. There's, oh, I'm in the bottom lane on pit road. That's not good because I'm gonna get held up on pit road. Okay, I did not. Wow. Good. I don't want to get held up on pit road. Let's do this. By the way, this race is called a Chevy Rock and Roll 400. That's why I get the Chevrolet paint scheme and sponsor. Looks nice. It's like Batman colors. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ricky Rudd beat me out, and then he squeezed me into the inside wall. So 
yeah, I'm trying to go for my ninth win this season tonight. If I do that, I, I tie the rec tie when NASCAR Thunder 2004 wins. Could happen. Like, Travis Quap Travis Quapple has not pitted yet. He's still on the track. I believe I will be. Oh wow! I don't know. I, I don't know where I'm gonna be. Greg Biffle, Kevin Harvick, Rusty Wallace just came out. Here comes Travis Quapple on the pit road. I'm in 13th right now. No, Travis Quapple is still on the track. Unless he's the race leader. He could be the race leader. Oh yeah, he could be the race leader because I think I saw him come on pit road. But yeah, he just has... No, I'm a lap down. Alright, he's coming in now. No, he's still out there. Wow, I don't know. Papo is going extremely slow, though. Is he coming in this time by? Yeah, his dot is going slow every time. Thinking he's coming on pit road. I don't know what's wrong with Travis. Oh, he's on the apron. He's on the apron. Watch. Watch here. Watch. You'll see a car on the apron. Oh, uh, not here. You'll see on the front straightaway for sure. Yeah, see right there? Travis Quapo is the race leader, and yet he's on the apron. He has not pitted yet, though. Huh. I don't know what's happening. This race has become weird. Not gonna lie. It's become a very strange race. And Elliot Sadler just couldn't get out of my way. Well, we're about to pass him. Alright. So I'm in fifth. So Carl Edwards would technically be the race leader. Travis Quapple Pink? No? What is going on here? Travis Quapple has not picked. I wonder if it's that glitch. I think I remember this glitch. I don't know. Maybe there's a glitch. I don't know, he mu it may be a glitch, because Travis Quapo should have pitted like 10 laps ago. I thought I saw him come down pit road, and there's a caution. Alright, there is a caution. Oh, Travis Quapo came right back up on Rusty Wallace. Collected Kenny Wallace in the process, and Brian Vickers. What in the world? You know what? And those two are teammates. Rusty Wallace and Travis Quapple. They're teammates. So what in the world happened? And now, oh god, we got some lap cars in the way now. Oh wait, and I'm a lap. No, I'm not a lap down. No, I'm not a lap. Alright, this is going to get interesting. Ten laps to go. So Rusty Wallace took out, uh, I mean, Travis Quapple took out uh, Rusty Wallace. Teammates, huh? It's kind of interesting, huh? Alright, I got Jimmy Johnson as a rival behind me, too, so I should watch out for him. Alright, got to the bottom lane, finally. Alright, this could get interesting, because the lap traffic is going to be an uh, issue here. Oh, sideways. Oh, yeah, that's not why, that's why I didn't want to, uh... Okay! Whoa! Kurt Busch is the race leader. Now, Debris could still be dropped off uh, Jamie McMurray's, uh, Kenny Wallace's, and Rusty Wallace's car. This has become a strange race. I mean, 
the race started when I didn't even hit the X button. Then, Travis Quaffle had the glitch, and then he took out his teammate. What is going on? I'm trying to take the race lead away. Oh, contact! Oh! Oh! I'm trying not to hit him. I don't want to get magnetized in this car. Six to go. And you don't want to mess with Kurt Busch like that. Ah, still trying to take the race lead. Try and go for my ninth win tonight. Be five to go this time by for Kurt Busch. And me. Here I come. Okay. He kept blocking me, and I I was committed to the inside lane. If he comes down on me and I make contact with him, it ain't my fault. For the go. Oh my God. Oh my god. I I'm trying to get to the inside of him, but the, my car is tight. Three to go. This is going to get interesting. Here I come once again for the race lead. Oh, he did again. See, I'm committed to the bottom lane. I'm not moving. I'm not going to back off. And if he comes down and blocks me, and I just hit the walk it off court, if he comes down and blocks me, and I make contact, I'm, you know, I was committed down there. Two to go, oh, I got a good run off turn four, here I come. Here I come. Oh, come on. Is he still on my outside? I'm not sure. White flag, this time by. One lap to go. Yep, we're still side by side. Yep. Oh my god. Side. Oh, no, I just got the race lead. I cleared him. Nice. And I'm going to get my ninth win of the season. I win the Chevy Rock and Roll 400 here at Richmond. I tell you what, that finish was exciting. What an exciting finish. Wow. What a strange race, too, I will say. Oh, come on. We got... Let me create the smoke. Come on. There we go. Come on. Ah. I've done enough burnouts. What an exciting finish that was. So I got my ninth win of the season tonight. I'm locked into the chase. No problem. Oh, whoops. And then, uh... First chase race is going to be at New Hampshire, too. And, uh, hey, I won at New Hampshire, so maybe I'll do good there. I think I passed it way back. Where is it? Oh my god, where is it? I thought I passed it. Is it really farther this way? I don't remember being at this far up over here. Oh uh, yeah, wow, okay. Alright, so, yep, I win the Chevy Rocky Roll Ford. You're here at Richmond. Kurt Busch, second. Bobby Lapine, third. Carl was fourth. Elliot Sadler, fifth. Jeff Gore, sixth. Dale Jarrett, seventh. Ryan Newman, eighth. Mark Trix, Jr., ninth. And Case K rounds up the top ten. Let's check. Let's go to Victory Lane for the ninth time this year. Nice. And gonna check the official chase standings, too. Excited for that. Yep. 
good theme music to start the chase. Can't wait. Alright. So, yep. It's the chase for the championship. The top 10 chase drivers. The chase drivers that's made the chase is me, Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, Carl Edwards, Greg Biffle, Kurt Busch, Matt Kenseth, Ryan Newman, Elliot Sadler, and Jimmy Johnson are going to be in the chase. And for these drivers, came up short. Dale Nigeria, Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Bobby Bobby, and Dale Jarrett. And so I'll start the chase with a five point lead up over Tony Stewart. Everyone in the chase is within 45 points ahead, so it's going to be a tight chase again. Well, the first chase race will be at will be at New Hampshire National Speedway for race 27. New Hampshire Motor Speedway, I should say, for race 27 36. The first chase race for the running of the Sylvania 300. So, folks, I'll see you at Wilder, New Hampshire.